When we conduct a jar test, we want to simulate a real tank mixed spray load as closely as possible to get an accurate idea of how a tank mix will behave. The proportions of carrier, pesticides, and adjuvants in our jar should match what their proportions would be in a real tank. This is where we'd usually start throwing math formulas at you, but luckily, there's an easier way. A company called Precision Laboratories makes inexpensive compatibility test kits that include one milliliter pipettes and test bottles in place of jars that are marked off at 100 milliliters. With these kits, one milliliter represents one gallon of real life tank mix. That means the 100 milliliter test bottle represents a 100 gallon tank. You can create a similar kit at home with graduated eyedroppers and a small container. Just mark the container off at 100 milliliters and make sure the eyedroppers come marked in milliliters as well. Here at UNL, we built a calculator tool in Microsoft Excel that makes it easy to find the right tank mix proportions when using one of these kits. You can download this calculator at pested.unl.edu slash math. All we need to identify ourselves is the total spray volume we intend to apply per acre, and the formulation type and application rate of each product we intend to mix. Let's say we want to tank mix a product called Bug Kill G with a product called Bug Gone EC for broad spectrum insect control. The first step is to determine our desired spray volume. For this example, we'll say that our sprayer is calibrated to deliver 20 gallons per acre and that this spray volume is within the range required by the pesticides we want to mix. In our proportion calculator, we'll select 20 gallons per acre from this dropdown. Next, we need to add our pesticide products to the table. We want to be sure we enter each product according to its formulation type. That way we know which order to add the products to the mix. Bug Kill G is a water dispersible granule formulation, so we'll enter it right here. Bug Gone EC is an emulsifiable concentrate, so we'll enter it here. If you're not sure about a product's formulation type, give the manufacturer a call and they should be able to tell you. Lastly, we check each product's label for their appropriate application rates. For our example, Bug Kill G calls for a rate of 16 ounces per acre, and Bug Gone EC calls for a rate of 76.8 fluid ounces per acre. Next to Bug Kill G, we'll enter 16 and then select ounces per acre in the next box for our unit of measure. Some labels give you the application rate per 1,000 square feet instead of per acre. When this is the case, you can enter that rate here and the spreadsheet will convert it into a rate per acre for you. You can then put this converted rate into the table using the same units as specified on the label. As you can see, when we entered our application rate, the table automatically calculated how much bug kill G we would need for 100 gallons of spray and how much we'll need for a 100 milliliter jar test. Now we'll do the same thing for Bug Gone EC. This might be a good time to remind ourselves that application rates for liquid pesticide formulations are expressed as a volume, while rates for dry formulations are expressed as a weight. That's why the table has different options for units of measure for dry and liquid formulations. An ounce and a fluid ounce are not the same thing, and dry formulations should be measured with a scale. We now know that we'll need about 600 milligrams of Bug Kill G and 3 milliliters of Bug Gone EC in our 100 milliliter test bottle. The remaining space in the bottle will be filled with carrier water to complete the mixture. Since Bug Kill G is above Bug Gone EC in the table, we also know that we'll add it to the mix before the Bug Gone EC. Now that we know our mixing order and the proportions of each tank mix component, we can conduct our jar test.